okay guys before we proceed with this tier list just want to you know get some things out of the way first so these are actually just my opinions and if you have opinions of your own in terms of this tier list this is a democratic tier list okay so feel free to comment down below who should be promoted who should be demoted for the pvp tier list for southeast asia server okay let's go Okay, guys, so at the bottom of this tier list is you have your D and your E. E, um, just to explain the, you know, the, the quotes there, it's exhibition. They usually just play during exhibition games, so that is why it's exhibition. The next is tier D, which is the minor league, which is your D league. So these are, I, I won't really cover that much in terms of D and E. They are at the bottom and occasionally they are being used only if they are part of the ups part uh, because that is the only way you see value in them. So as you can notice that uh, Lee, Lee Jin was actually part of the ups for PvP, Buzzard as well. Um, who else? Blacktail as well. Ogami is, still, is also here and so on and so forth so as you can see here e is a bit long i'll actually put a link um in the description for this file so that you can see the whole tier list in your own time so more or less this is your d and e nothing to cover here much um and let's proceed to c so for your c these are your contract players these are your 10 day contract players or your 30 day contract players who actually play but they're on a limited time so you have your orca um pretty fantastic kit but has has not been used yet in pvp as i've seen um so far since uh, southeast asia launch you have john mason who has seen action but uh, only during the time that um he was what they call this he was also part of the ups Edith Twins will actually be coming soon, probably this week. And you have here Roy Burnett, which was actually one of my favorites last week because he was part of the ups. And you have Sweeper, Choi Ina. Mia was actually part of the ups uh, before. Um, she's actually a sniper, but at a high cost, uh, may I say. Choi Ina as well, because she reduces, um, what they call this, um, uh, she actually reduces skills, or so skill haste. So she's been, she actually, her her um, her deployment cost was down to one. So again, she has been very good as long as there are ups. Brownie, Rivet, um, uh, had some time that she was used as well during the ups. Gabriel June as well, Constantine as well. Um, Constantine, um, his kit kind of lacks something aside from stunts. That is why he is in the in the seat here. There are actually pretty much a lot of defenders that are very good. Even though she he was actually in the ups, I think a couple of weeks ago. Um, there are still a lot of very good defenders out there. Then you have was notable here as well. Boomy. Kathy Wade actually um, is going to be good in, in PvE, not really in PV, PvP. Okay, so you have also your Woodpecker, no, not Woodpecker. <laughs> Woodpecker and Sparrow is here to round out the list. Um, for mech teams, they're not really the core in your mech teams. Um, they're just there to bother um what they call this enemies on the other side for an early attack probably to just to taunt them but again um they are there um again as contract players they could be bumped up in usage um if they're a part of the ups for that week okay so let's do the b or your bench player so they actually play um especially if your starters are kind of tired already or banned supposedly so Chinatsu is here. Shinja is here. Like this week, Shinja has a lot of usage because there aren't a lot of rangers. Most of the rangers have been banned. And Shinja is going to be a good ranger to use this week. 
Um, Seo Yun is also here. Maria as well. Maria has a particular build that you need to do for PvP. Um, she works well with uh, Sigma, but with now you've been around, she's not used that much as well. She was actually rampant a couple of, I think a month ago in terms of PvP, but now not so much. Stronghold, not Stronghold. A lot of typos. <laughs> Stronghold, he's part of the ups right now, but again, there are still a lot of worthwhile, um, oh, what I call this? worthwhile defenders like for example you have uh, king also in the up so most probably people would go with king jane though is particularly selective when it comes to her team she works well purely usually with soldiers karen wong as well because there are a lot of um there's a lot of uh, snipers right before her so you have um you have um, Shaolin, you have Hayami Sanai, you have, who's the other one? Um, but there are a lot, there are a lot. Um, but she's actually more on the last of the bench to g come in if she's needed. So ATF 35, ATL 1, and Doma is actually coming into the game as well. Um, their rating actually that I rated them at a B based on their uh, what they call this their uh, performance in uh, in the Korean server Esther Rosa is also at B because Esther Rosa there are actually better um, strikers than her um, When she came out of the game, she was one of the top strikers HP shield very tanky, but at five cost. That's the problem because at five cost She's usually already uh, a. She should be an awakened unit already. So, um, LSY is here. LSY is actually was actually good when she was part of the ups. So again, um, they are just going up because they're up for the week. Kim So Bin as well, very you know very situational in terms of her use. Eddie Fisher. Eddie Fisher is only, I think, good for buffs, um, buffs that he gives, and he was part of the ups a, a, a couple of weeks as well. Arius, in terms of your healers, you have their Evelyn, you have, um, you have, uh, who's the other one? Evelyn and Claudia. She will be the third of your bench. So, um, again, why she's at uh, B. Minato is here again, very good at a value right now. Um, he is going to be part of your team because of, of ups. Hilde as well. The problem with Hilde is we can't give, we can't get a lot of copies for her um, in this game. So she's at B. But again, she's a very good substitute if you don't have good strikers out there. Jake Walker. Um, good for AoE damage, very big um, AoE damage. And um, again, Jake Walker is one of the best units when it, when he has his ups as well. Ryan Ferry as well, one of the top defenders when we started the game uh, for Southeast Asia. Now there are better defenders than him, but still a solid, solid uh, defender, especially if, in, if, if he's on the ups. Rhino, um, there aren't that much uh, teams carrying Rhino, but Rhino, when he's built and very tanky, he can be very good. Assault Trooper is here, deployed anywhere, um, very good, along with Ironside. Ironside's um, downside is that he is really restricted to mechs, so that is his uh, drawback. But again, when he's paired with, uh, what they call this? With Max, he is a good support to have. You have Adamant Sniper here um, as a good support. He can really, you know, um, just hide under your ship. Cindy Looper, Irie Alford, and Ingrid Johanna is going to round out your B. Um, they are very good for um, starting players. So Cindy and Irie Alford, they actually still see action. Especially if you need a two two deployment cost unit, they they are actually one of the best to have you know you know to or have been used in the game. Ingrid is actually being used, especially if you don't 
if um some of the 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 the, the units that you need like elizabeth or kang are banned usually ingrid is actually used as well let's proceed guys to your a your a is basically your all stars okay so these are these are not your super max stars these are your all stars um they might play in an all-star game but they are some of them are bench players in a team but again they're very good at what they do um start off, starting off with the hound so the hound is here um probably one of your best defenders for mechs um Claudia is here um uh, for me could compete with uh, evelyn as the best healer so evelyn is actually here as well in your a sylvia lena cooper for me i think is one of the you know one of the best snipers that you can have because of her stun she has a lot of utility in her um she not she is not only good with mechs she can be put in any team with counters so again she is here she's one of the all-around players uh, all around <laughs> units that i have that have a big impact on my lineup usually you have jushiyun here um again um one of the most unique um units that we have um in terms of being a ranger but he is a sword so again um very very nice because he attacks from afar lin shin is here one of the best units to start with if you are a a, a beginner so lin shin um in terms of the de deployment cost so deployment he she actually you know regenerates your deployment cost as long as you keep her alive you have your dominic king which is actually part of the ups this week so he's going to be very good at a reduced cost even at four he is still good so again a uh, very tough very tanky defender uh and um was one of the best forecast defenders before serapel arrived okay so he was one of the best okay next would be lumi so lumi um very annoying siege unit um very tanky as well and uh really annoying i might say and is worth while investing as your uh in your tier a your attack 130 is actually a plane where you can i think this uh, this this uh plane hasn't been released yet but it gives you a lot of debuffs and buffs for a plane um very good actually support next you have here harab so for harab um i didn't really you know i didn't really see her value until recently because even though if for example if you have a three deployment cost and he and that that unit is part of the ups then goes down to two then again harab can also get control of that unit so again harab very pivotal in some of the you know the the, the matches that i've had um and especially there for example if you if you confuse a very tanky defender at two cost what do you do or an einstein's way what do you do so again immediately you lose a unit and it's you know it uh, goes against you next is your admin shield man so your admin shield man is actually one of the best tanks at two cost probably better than stronghold at this point even though stronghold is at um i think he's at two costs as well or or three but again better than your stronghold a uh, very good value i might say Yumi, one of the best three deployment cost defenders that we have so very good evasion as well very tanky ayami sanai um very good against siege very good at, against um strikers i might add um very good against Ayuna. take take note of that so again um, she's she, she's usually deployed during close quarters um not really the long range sniper that you might expect next is your admin sword fighter your admin sword fighter is very evasive high attack as well and can be very annoying to deal with in the front line next would be regina one of the best 
so, uh, Regina McCready, one of the best supports that I think you will have. Very tanky as well. Can you know? Can um, can cast an ice shield for defense, and very hard to kill. Um, I've encountered a lot of Regina's actually. That um, Regina's in battle, not Regina as a person. Regina in the battle in in the battlefield where they are so tanky at three cost. So again, very good cost for a support slash tank. So Edelmate near one of the best. You know, one of the best uh, snipers, I think, in the game because of the ability to create monsters, little green goblins that uh, spawn up when you kill somebody on the other side. Next is your Kang So Young. So Kang So Young actually very irritating, um, was very rampant during the time that she came out. Um, right now, she's still good. She's more of a distraction right now um, rather than um, she's good at killing snipers. That's one of the things that she excels in. Good, very good at distracting certain units in the field. And again, uh, one of the best at what she is doing because she also, you know, spawns um, strongholds. Uh, no, just only one stronghold and does a lot of damage coming in. Zhao Lin probably one of the best snipers that we have in terms of damage in terms of range in, ter in terms of damage um can give your awakened yuna a lot of hell if uh you know if you time her placement right she's going to to really knock her out um and also um Right now, her only threat is basically when she, uh, she is actually threatened when she leaves that bottom of your ship. Once once she stays there, she is really kind of invincible and hard to reach. Except if you have, if we have, um, uh, what they call this, um, the ship. I forgot the ship, Lake Superior. Right next would be Elizabeth. So Elizabeth, one of the first. Um, Units to enter and deal damage. Um, still used uh, until now. Very, very good at four cost. Um, if she survives for you guys, she is very, she, she gives you high value as well. Jushiyong. Um, this girl is actually one of the best units in terms of you leaving her and just attack on her own. She would really, you know, um, give you time for your backline units to move forward. Or if you're waiting for a unit to summon, she is one of the best in the front. And, you know, um, dealing damage, uh, staggering enemies, um, throwing them in the air. One of the best. Rosaria. Rosaria. So, one again, I think one of, one of the best uh, rangers that we have in terms of damage, in terms of AoE damage. In terms of flying rangers, um, she's one of the best, and I think the only, the only, um, the only Achilles heel that she has is actually people trying to directly take her out. Um, let's say, for example, um, uh, Elizabeth or anything that is specialized for the air, she's really going to get it. So, but again, if if there are scenarios like, for example, um, that she is free to roam, she is really going to have a head, you know, to give you a headache. So, Awakened Lee Ji Su. Um, what can I say? Debuffs, um, tank, but she's a support. Um, a lot of debuffs, debuffs uh, slowing of attack speed um, in terms of decreasing um, healing as well. She's actually good. Recently, we have Yen Xing. Yen Xing, I brought her last week, and one of, I think I I really under, underestimated her first in terms of um, being in in the front row. Um, really, really good. You have to start her at the back so that she uses her special skill, and after that, especially if you have a cooldown set on her and her cooldown, you know. Um, is going to be as quick as possible when it, when it, when it cycles 
uh, between uh, between skills or special skill she's going to be good and she's going to be uh, eliminating your backline enemies for you okay so last on this list we will have our s tier okay so s is what do you guessed it it's superstar so these are your superstars these are your max type players that you invest your resources in you invest everything um, <laughs> to get them to 110. Let's start with Awakened Seo Yun. So she's coming in the game um, hopefully within the week. And she's one of the top rangers that we have. That is why I really want her to add to my arsenal of rangers. Again, I can't say more about her. Next would be Awakened Yumina. Probably one, if I may say... Um, the top uh, awakened unit or any unit in the game right now for Southeast Asia because again even at band 2 guys she is actually playable so that's really 8 right now she's at, she's, she's at band 1 and everybody is actually using her it's actually a dream to use her she's very very good um, if you build her right she's going to be a monster in your team so again um, I hope I do get Awaken you me now in my free to play account once she rotates in. So I might as well have to wait for her once she comes back again. But again, for my main account, I really have her. I'm enjoying um, using her in PvP. And next was actually one of the first awakened units that we have in Awakened Hilde. So one of the best tanks that we have. Tankier than than now you've been. So basically she is one of the toughest tanks in the game that's it toughest meaning she can tank for days but again she has weaknesses as well especially for rangers next would be nayu bin so nayu bin one of the best defenders in bringing out debuffs attack speed um skill haste debuffs you name it so again he's kind of more fragile than Awakened Hilde, but he gives you a different perspective in terms of defenders. But again, he's one of the top defenders that we have. Next is Sigma. Um, I really enjoyed Sigma actually using her kit when she was released. Um, before Nayubin came out, she was actually a monster in, 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 in adding, you know, giving you deployment resources. Um... And you put her as a leader. Very, very good unit. Probably one of the best units that I'm still, you know, uh, that I'm using, especially if Nayubin is not there. So again, very good. I hope you guys got her. Einstein's Wave, one of the best two deployment cost strikers that we have. Tanky, evasive, um, high damage for special skill. And uh, what more can I say? Um, I was actually very happy that I was able to get them in the counter pass. So I decided to level them up to 110. Um, I'll keep this kind of short for the rest of the peeps that are here. So you have Kyle Wong, one of the best that we have. Um, you have your shields. Uh, damage as well. Um, one of the best starter, you know, starter uh, units to have. Serapel at level 110. My god. I I really had a hard time killing Serapel at 110. So again, she's one of the best non-awakened defenders that we have. She's the best. Okay. Gayun. Um, what more could I say? Everybody's obsessed with Gayun. Especially her uh, her ultimate skill. Again, she is pr pretty much a headache. Titan again at level 110 is uh, unkillable at times. Uh, really have a headache dealing up with a 110 Titan. Young Harem, one of the best units in uh, decreasing or increasing skill haste. So that is why she's here. She's very unique at what she does. Nanahara Chifuyu is actually here because of her decreased defense, evasion. She tanks like a tank even though she's a striker. Um, Admin Rifleman, 
again, what can I say? At two cost, really packs a punch, and you can spam this guy um, if they die. So again, in PvP, they are creating havoc actually at two cost. If you want to decrease them as a leader at one, then they will be spammable for you. But again, at two cost, no. What can I say? They're already good. And the last for your superstars is Awakened Yumina. Um, one of the best units perhaps to come in. And if you time her right, she can turn the tide for you. I have won and lost matches because of her, because of what she does. And she, aside from all the Awakened units, she is the one, she is actually unique as well in what she gives and what she brings. And again, this rounds out my tier list, guys. It's been a long video and I hope you guys are still here. Um, I'm Again, I'm going to put a link to the description to this file. I'm also going to put timestamps um, for each tier so don't, you don't, you know, don't uh, waste um, time in, for example, sifting through which tier and who who is in which tier. So I'll put timestamps time stamps again for this video. Okay, guys. So for those of you who have stayed this far, please consider subscribing. Click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.